This video will present some practical examples involving metric conversion using dimensional analysis. For the metric conversion, we will rely on the prefixes for metric system. In this first example, it's asking us to convert 1.85 meters to centimeters. We will start with expressing the given information as a fraction, which it's understood to have a denominator of 1. We will then multiply it by our conversion factor fraction that has a value of 1. And for the setup, we want to cancel out meters to convert it into the desired units. So to cancel that out any time in a fraction that we have a numerator and a denominator factor the same, they can be canceled out because their value is equal to 1. Relying on our prefix then to determine equivalent values between meters and centimeters, we'll determine which one of these is bigger, meters or centimeters. Meters has no prefix on it, so it's the base and it's the leftmost. That's the one we will select for a value of 1. Then, noting the number of spaces, which each space has a value of 10, to determine the number that goes on our other factor. So 10 times 10 gives us 100 centimeters equal to 1 meter. We will take this equivalent value then and express it as a conversion factor fraction with our 1 meter in the denominator and an equivalent value in the numerator of the 100 centimeters. This fraction has a value of 1 when we have equivalent values in the numerator and the denominator. Multiplying by 1 does not change anything, but in this case, this is our procedure in dimensional analysis to change units. Canceling out then common factors, as we previously discussed, meters cancel out, multiplying numerators together results in 185 in the numerator, multiplying denominators is a 1, and simplifying, dividing by 1, does not change the value. We have an equivalence to the given meter value now in centimeters. This next example asks to convert 1.2 liters to milliliters. Same procedure. We take the given value and express it as a fraction. We will multiply it by a conversion factor fraction where we want to cancel out liters. Making the comparison then between liters and milliliters, we need to determine which one of these is larger, liters or milliliters. So when we look at our prefix table here, the base, which is our liter, having no prefix on it, is further to the left, meaning it's larger than the milliliters, on the right, so we'll place our 1 on the liters, counting the number of spaces, each space representing a power of 10, results in 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. Taking this equivalent value then and expressing it as a conversion factor fraction, the 1 liter will go in the denominator the equivalent value in the numerator, 1,000 milliliters, resulting in a fraction that has a value of 1. Next, we're ready to multiply, canceling out the common factor of liter in the numerator and the denominator, leads us into multiplying numerators together. 1.2 times 1,000 is 1,200, and the denominators multiply to give us 1. Dividing by 1 does not change the value, our final answer then to this problem would be 1,200 milliliters. This problem is asking for a conversion between a specified amount of milligrams to micrograms. Take the given information, express it as a fraction, which in this case has a denominator of 1. We will multiply it by a conversion fraction that has milligrams in the denominator. Using our metric prefix, we'll determine which one of these 
prefix is larger, milligrams or micrograms. We see milli to the left, so that's where our one will go. And to determine the factor on the other, we count the number of spaces, each space having a value of 10, multiplying 10 to the third power, or 10 times 10 times 10, results in 1,000. So we have the relationship of 1 milligram equal to 1,000 micrograms. Using that, then, to express it as a conversion factor fraction, the 1 milligram goes in the denominator, and its equivalent value of 1,000 micrograms in the numerator. This fraction has a value of 1 whenever we have equivalent values in the numerator and the denominator of a fraction. When multiplying, we cancel out common factors, so milligram over milligram cancels out because it has a value of 1. Multiplying numerators together gives us 750 in the numerator and 1 in the denominator. And final simplification, division by 1 does not change the value, giving us a final value of 750 micrograms.